Approximately seven tire punctures occur every second. By less tires is here to help. High School, thanks for clicking on our show today. I'm Joya Murphy, and she is Erin Murphy. And together we bring you all of the happenings in the Chieftain world for the week of March 15th, 2021. You are watching Live from the Tribe. Erin, how close are we to actually being live? Our first story gets us closer to being live and in the classroom. Schools are set to reopen April 12th according to the San Diego Unified School District. We should be prepared before we hit the campus. The move to safely reopen Claremont High School campus is one that I fully support. Uh, one of the things I'm most proud of about Claremont High School is that uh, the culture we've created is really one of a family. And this family has been apart for way too long now. Learning is social. It happens in the context of trusting relationships, student to teacher, teacher to administrator. And while we will adhere to all of the necessary health and safety guidelines, the bottom line is I'm so excited to bring students and staff back to this campus to work and learn alongside one another. It will be fun to see your friends and teachers, but school will not be the same as before. When we get back to school, we have to wear our masks, social distance, and keep our hands clean. The district and the county will have many rules in place to make sure we are safe on campus. No matter what, if you return to school, you will have to follow all of these rules. You have just spent the last year doing school from your bedroom. Are you ready to get up, brush your teeth, and get back into the classroom? On the Dumba, yeah. Now they, they edit. Time to the battle, them What are you better than thinking the about dummy battle, them bed? Oh, do they want to find it out the day you're at home? I want to go back to school to be in a classroom environment and see friends. I don't believe we should start reopening schools considering that COVID numbers are still high and school is about to end. My parents believe that we should continue with online school. Down to the then way to the store and down to the make beer and then the bed out and die. During, even during like meal preparation or lunch, we have to, we, we can't sit together, so. I have anxiety because I haven't been there in six, in six months, so I have kind of a, a mixed feeling about it. So both a daddy and nobody, no matter what I do, and not a steam without art when we the bad, it will be a dumb to the daughter, even with the man on our face. Nobody, the end. Vaccines for all teachers in the San Diego County are available and very simple to sign up for. You can schedule an appointment for any day that's available. Appointments can be scheduled for multiple locations throughout San Diego like Grossmont, San Marcos, Chula Vista, and the UCSD medical facilities are also holding tests. Teachers coming back to school is a great first step for school to come back all together. Masks are going away and stadiums are filling in soon. Being normal again might be in our near future. We all know this year has been very odd and very different for everyone. We all know with online school, we've been wanting to get out of the house and spend time with friends. However, 
With restrictions, COVID, and having to wear masks, it's completely different. Here are a few people from school who will tell you how they spend their free time safely. Hi, I'm Allison Butters and I'm a senior at Claremont High School and during my free time with COVID, I work out, so I go on runs, um, just do weights in the garage and stuff. I've been going to work pretty regularly still. Um, COVID safe, of course. I bake. I've been reading a lot and just doing schoolwork just to keep myself occupied and I've also been watching a lot of TV. So that's kind of it. During my free time, I've mostly been checking out different coffee shops and I've been pretty busy with schoolwork and that's mostly it. What's kept me busy during COVID-19 is reading, baking, drawing, editing, and braiding, and also sports like softball and basketball, and golfing. And I also have been bonding over video games with my little brother, so. Um, during COVID, I like to hang out with uh, some members of my COVID bubble, I like to call it. Um, we make sure to be safe and social distance around the people that aren't in our bubble. Uh, I also spend a lot of time on TikTok, which is probably a little bit unhealthy. I also like coffee. So, you know, Starbucks, the savior of sleepless nights. And um, I like to be involved with ASP. And those are just a few things that fellow chieftains like to do during this time of COVID. However, you want to remember to balance your time indoors and outdoors too. So if you've been on TikTok for a few hours, why not go outside, work out, or even go to a new coffee shop? Not only will you get a new coffee, but vitamin D too. Remember, chieftains, stay active and stay safe. Thanks for watching. Kalia Hosh, CSN News. Vaccines to prevent COVID-19 are perhaps the best hope for ending the pandemic. On February 27th, 2021, Johnson & Johnson announced that the U.S. The Food and Drug Administration has issued emergency use authorization for its single-dose COVID-19 vac vaccine. The arrival of Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine will make it easier for San Diegans to be vaccinated against the virus. The one-shot vaccine has arrived in regions and is being distributed the same way Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. 342,000 people, or 12.7% of San Diegans, 16 and older, are fully immunized. Over more than 643,000 residents have received at least one of the two shot vaccines. That's 23.9% of those. Chieftain, some great news to celebrate coming out of the AOB building. Mr. Bardwell had his students enter into a stock trading competition against 150 other contestants. Each team had to make stock trades every 45 seconds for an hour straight. The good news is that three of the teams from the Academy of Business placed first, second, and fourth. That's how Claremont represents. Congratulations to the first place team of Karen and Ariana showing some solid girl power right there. Second place goes to Max and his partner Max. The Max Squared Up team did a great job. And the fourth place team out of 150 teams is Emiliano and his boy Cornelio. And all the groups did amazing and will be great stockbrokers in the future. Making it Wednesday is just 48 hours away and it's perfect for St. Patrick's Day. Join Miss Moore as she makes some fabulous sweet Irish soda bread and don't knock it until you tried it. It's a tr traditional Irish bread and it's good. Check Mr. Williams swag that came out today for a list of ingredients. Well teachers, here is your reminder to get Mr. Jimenez those staff candidate shots of you on vacation. Maybe some shots with your pets. Any pics you have of you and your family during COVID or working out. Or dig through yearbooks and grab some old high school pics from your teenage years. Share them with the yearbook staff at claremontyearbook21 at gmail.com. Just like Bardwell did, Chieftains, you can do the same thing. Tell Sparks about what's going on with your club or sports team and we could put it on our show. St. Patrick's Day is just around the corner, so remember to wear green on March 17th. St. Patrick's Day originally came from Ireland. This day, the earth of St. Patrick, who is a saint in Ireland. Irish people celebrate this day with parades, special food, music, dancing, and a whole lot of green. The shamrock, also known as the three-leaf clover, is really important on this day because Patrick uses the three leaves on the clover to explain the Holy Trinity, and it has stuck in the tradition. So remember to wear green and hide your pot of gold from those little leprechauns. Well, that's our show for this week. Hopefully you got rest over the time change and ready to go back for the week. Sports is about to go off, and we will have another show next week with more Claremont High School updates. Until then, Chieftains, keep it 
orange and blue. Bye.